everyone, today I wanted to make a necklace that you can use as a ruler in a pinch. I wanted to take this opportunity to go through my jewelry drawer here one last time before I end up moving it to the new studio. So yeah, I got this idea while I was doing last week's video where I needed to measure around the circumference of the base. I didn't know where my um, flimsy like sewing tape went and I needed something in a pinch so I just used a piece of string and marked each inch and I thought wouldn't it be kind of cool if I had something that I was already wearing that I could use as a ruler in a pinch. Probably not going to be as precise as a ruler but like I said in a pinch it should work. <laughs> so let's go see what I have. Here we are again about to go into the dreaded jewelry drawer. Actually it's not so dreaded anymore. It actually looks somewhat organized and not messy. Anyway, so I need chain. Easy. And then I need some type of small bead or something to act as the inch markers. So, I mean, I have these. I don't think I'm really into that color combo though. I have these silver ones. I still don't know if I like the color combo, but this is better, I think. These could be cute. I think that might be it for this project anyway. You'll need chain, beads, head pins, jewelry pliers, and a ruler. First things first, cut your chain down to size. I wanted one that would easily slip over my head so that I didn't have to deal with adding a clasp, so I cut mine to 24 inches. I decided to use these bugle beads for the inch markers. I was also going to add a single seed bead for the half inch mark, but ultimately decided not to. I ended up liking the look with just the inch markers. Anyway, make the beads by slipping a bugle bead onto a head pin. Leaving a little bit to make the loop, cut the excess wire, and then use your pliers to roll up the end to make the loop. I actually have these fancy pliers that make short work of beads like this. I think it's called a wire loop plier or wire looper plier. You just thread the bead on, stick the head pin wire in until the bead hits the edge of the tool like this, and then you close the pliers. In one action, it cuts the excess and loops the wire around. If you ever have to make a bunch of beads like this, one of these tools is really helpful. I'll include an affiliate link down below for one of these if you're interested. They're a little pricey, but like I said, if you do a lot of beads like this, it helps a lot. I made 24 beads for my 24 inch chain. Basically, you need to make as many beads as inches or centimeters of your chain. Lay your chain out next to your ruler and then simply attach your beads at each inch marker. Of course, if you use the metric system, you can use centimeters instead. If you want, you can add half inch markers too, with different beads of course, but like I mentioned earlier, I was kind of digging the look with just the bugle beads, so I just stuck with the inch markers. Once all but one is attached, open one of the links on the end of the chain. Connect the other end and close the link back up. And finally, add the last bead to this spot. And now you have a seamless chain necklace that you can use to measure things in a pinch. For me, I'll be traveling soon, and if I end up bringing a knitting project, I could use this necklace to easily measure how far along I am. And if I had this thing last week, I could have used it to measure around my glass face. So not only is this thing useful for random things like that, it also looks pretty nice too. I like that it's not like immediately obvious that it's a ruler, but it functions as one. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. If you end up making this project or any of my other projects, please share it using the hashtag CheslinDIY. I love looking through and seeing what you guys do. There's some cool stuff that's been uploaded to that hashtag. 
If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you like my videos and have learned something from them, please consider supporting me on Patreon to help me continue to make them. It's totally optional, I'll still be making videos either way, it just helps me be able to put out better stuff. A link will be down below, or you can just click up here in the corner.